Good morning. Um, it's really cold. Really, it, well, it's about one degree outside. Uh, it's in the winter. It's getting into winter, November. So uh, I've got a track day, which I forgot about in the Fiesta uh, on the 8th of December. We're in lockdown at the minute, but hopefully it'll go ahead. Um, it's uh, there's a Fiesta. Uh, as you can see, it's all misted up inside. Which is knee good when you got knee heater. And I've got knee heater in it. I've got blowers, but knee heater. I took the heater matrix out when I did... Was it when I did my conversion or when I would... I took my heater matrix out at some point. I can't remember when. And binned it. Because I'm an idiot. Don't bend your heater matrix. Um, I also thought, oh, I know plenty of people with them. I'll be able to get one. Everyone wants like 20 quid for one. I like, no, I'm not paying 20 quid for one. No, fuck that. So... I've still got, my hands are cold, this one, which is the mini one, out of, uh, or a mini one, out of a mini we built a while ago, uh, and he didn't need a heater matrix in, because his is purely a summer car, and mine is, my Fiesta is going to be tracked in the cold, and also I'm planning on carrying on doing some 12 cars with it, 12 car rallies, possibly. Um, if if the, everything continues and I can afford to run it, but yeah. So this one, this video is hopefully going to be me fitting the heater in my car. Also, I might fit the choke on the carbs because I took the choke off. Hold on. I took the choke off the carbs. The filters over there. Don't, I, I'm not running filters. Filters. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Um. So yeah, I took the choke off the carbs. There's a choke mechanism, should be a choke mechanism across the back of here. And I took it off, it's in the top of my toolbox. Because, again, running in the summer, it's fine. Get the winter. Oh, bloody hell, you're raping the battery and you're raping your starter. Trying to get it to start, and it'll start, and it'll die. And it'll start, and it'll die, and it'll hick and fart, and hick and fart, and you've got to wait about five minutes before it gets warm, before you can run it. So, um, so I'm going to put the... the Chuck back on that. I might not cable it in, I might just make a little lever so it comes in here because I don't daily it. It wants it to start and it's warm, it'll be warm. I'll just take the bonnet off, click that on, start it, let it warm up, knock it off, put the bonnet back on, away I go. So I've got the, the cover route for Matrix. It's there. And shape. So the plan is to make that go onto there somehow. I probably have to make some support for the bottom of it. I think. Possibly. I don't know what's going on in there. What's that? A bracket. So there's my matrix. And there's the cover. I'm going to cut the bottom out of that. So it's flat. Pull that. Drill a hole through there. For that. Pull that through there. Make a bracket. So it supports it. Doing the bottom. And then supports it. Stops it moving around. Uh, and then pipe it up. I've just been to Taylor's. Got me pipe reducers. So I can... Because that's 14 mil. And the 2 litre has 20 mil outlets. So... Hopefully I'll have a heater by the end of the day. There we go. So the um, heater, matri heater matrix I'm sitting there like that. Uh, comes through there and there. It would have been easier. Well, it would have been easier to refit one, but. No, not going to do that because then um, I'd have to spend 40 quid on a Matrix to get a new one or yeah, this is going to cost us, they were 5 quid. Shouldn't have been the last one. So the next bit, since that's in, I'm going to make a bracket support with some tin. Uh, just a long piece of flat down, bend it around it, bring it back up, and that'll stop it floating around. 
and keep it nice and secure. I bolt it in with some nice big uh, washers and bolts and I'll make it nice and secure. There we go, so that's the bracket on. Drill some holes in it. I'll be there now. Gonna put some edge and trim around it so it can't chaff. Uh, and tidy up the edges a bit. I might give it a squirt some paint. And then uh, get it in and piped up. So the bracket's made. Um, there we go, it's drying. I've drilled some holes in it for airflow, but not so many that's gonna weaken it. Uh, I've got some edge and trim to go on it. So it's nice and soft against the matrix. Um, while it's drying, I'm going to pull the carbs off and refit my choke bracket cable -y thing. Um, because I took it off years ago and I really shouldn't off because now it doesn't like start in the winter. So yeah. That bit next. Again, it's not focusing again. Oh, there we go. It's focusing. It's not, but it'll do. That's my bracket. It's not perfect. But I'll wing it together in about 20 minutes. Focus. No. There we go. It's focused again. Uh, there you go. It's got some edge and trim on. I'll just put some insulating tape around, hold it in place. It's. I've sprayed some black on it. It's never going to be seen. So I didn't bother making it look perfect. Got a few holes in, holes are slightly pissed, my step drills are knackered. Um, put it together now. And then I'm going to be running the choke cable. Well, I've got the heater matrix plumbed in. Uh, it's not running properly yet because I didn't realize that those two outlets flow the same way So essentially it's full of water it's bled But the water is sitting still because they just it doesn't flow through it So what I need to do is run a pipe from this bottom feed here, which is bypass feed From there down I'm gonna have, Well, I'm gonna have to go run across the top of the rod and down to my bottom hose here in here, TP sitting in there or something, to uh, run the water the right way, and then that'll help flow the water through the, the matrix. So it's all on the internet. Like I had to look it up when I got home the other day, because it's it's a couple of days since I've done the job. It's been a couple of days, and I've been looking at the Fiesta, uh, and I have figured out a way around running the heater matrix. So what I'm going to do is I need to pop this up because it won't stay up. What I'm doing here. So what we're doing is so there's me ride at the fiesta. You can see where I got clattered by my exhaust manifold when I bent it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weld on a fitting into here. Because the way the water flows, it'll go in through one side of the matrix and then out through the other and into the top of the rod here and through a fit like that. So I'm gonna drill that, cut a bit of the end off, and weld that onto the onto the uh, the rod. And then I'll have a nice flow for me the yeah, matrix to go into. And it'll, it flows the right way, I've checked all that. It flows out the thermostat housing and into here. So that that's flowing the same way 
is the heat of make super run. Which is good. I'll do that soon. Got the the hose tail. I drilled the hole for the hose tail. I'm going there. Cut, take off the hose tail so it's going to sit in nice, nice flush fit. Well done that. Hunky dory. It's got to. Uh, it's, it's a nice tight fit as well. So I'll wind that in as best I can, and then take around it. And hopefully it'll turn out nice, but it might not be as nice as the the machine tigged, the fucking laser tig that. Is obviously on this cheap radiator, but as long as it's sealed, I don't really care. And also, you won't see it because the top hose will be on it over it. So, yeah, time lapse time. There we go. So it's welded in. It's not the prettiest, but it's not the ugliest I've ever seen. I probably could use a, a bigger tungsten. It won't focus. Probably could use a bigger tungsten. But I also the problem is my next tungsten up is too big. So that one, that one did. Just a bit of preheat. Eh, it's not turned up too bad. Like I say, it could be worse. Could be better. It's more than fucking solid enough, and definitely not not going to leak. Pulled the car in new, uh, pulled the bonnet off, bonnet's over there somewhere, bumper's there. Going, I've already flushed the, the coolant out because it was a bit murky, uh, put the hose on, let it run. Uh, cleaned the all out, out, cleaned the header tank out, cleaned the rad out, so it's all nice and clean and fresh water in there at the minute. And then I'm going to put the rad in, which is, I've left it over by the door, put the rad in and Put it back together and see. Hopefully, I'll get a nice warm car. And then I really need to clean it because it hasn't been cleaned in like 18 months. So I've got the, the car outside, bonnet's back on, goes back in. Uh, I'm going to give it a clean, because it's absolutely minging. It hasn't been touched in about 18 months, it's literally grown greenery in it. That never stays in place. Greenery down there, it, it's minging like, especially on the back bumper. Greenery. <laughs> Fucking hell man. Aye, she needs a good clean. She's been proper abandoned for the last like, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to bother video on the cleaning because it's not going to be done properly so it's, well, it's going to be done properly but not to the spec that's worth videoing and it's going to be really long